A man realizes if he will shrink his height to 5 inches tall, then he can live a better life. Thanks to a wonderful, revolutionary medical procedure known as downsizing that could help him shrink his size. What happens next? Guess you'll have to stick around to the end to see how the whole story unfolds. Hello and welcome to Comedy Recap. Today we will give you a recap of the film Downsizing. Spoilers ahead, obviously. And without further ado, let's dive right into it. The movie starts with a scene in the laboratory where Dr. Jorgen Aspergorsen, that's a hard name, is conducting an experiment on a white rat. He puts the rat into a small machine and starts the experiment. Once he is done with the experiment, he checks the rat and runs to Dr. Anders Jacobson, easier name, who tells him that their experiment got successful. The lab scene ends and then we see that after five years, Dr. Andreas is talking to an audience at the university in Turkey, where he introduces his experiment of downsizing to the audience. According to Dr. Andrus, downsizing will help the planet as the biggest problem that we are currently facing is population and downsizing will help with that. After Dr. Andrus finishes his presentation, he says that now Dr. Jorgen will talk to the audience and after that he lifts the lid of a box and we see Dr. Jorgen who was downsized to only 5 inches tall. Everyone in the audience stands up in awe and we can hear the cheers and claps coming from the audience. After that, Dr. Jorgen says that downsizing is a side effect free procedure and tells that there are many who have undergone the medical procedure and today are living a great life. The same conference that Dr. Jorgen is addressing is being live broadcasted around the globe and we can see the people standing in complete disbelief at what is happening. We then see Paul Safranek who is watching the broadcast in a restaurant. He seems very interested in the procedure and says it's amazing. Then we see Paul goes back to his mother's house where his mom is watching the same broadcast, and once, the switched off to TV, Paul's mom says to him that they found a way to shorten humans, but they haven't found a cure for my disease. The movie then skips to 10 years later, where we see Paul goes to work, and when he comes back, his wife is lying on the sofa, and she is not feeling alright. Paul gives her a little neck massage, and then we see them both going to check out some houses. Both return back home, and the next day, the couple visits their old institute for the alumni reunion. There they meet their friend Dave and his wife Carla, who have undergone the downsizing procedure. After the reunion event finishes, Paul sits with Dave and talks about the procedure and how life is afterward. Being convinced by that, both Paul and his wife Audrey go to attend a marketing conference about downsizing and how it's better. We see them talk to a real estate agent from Leisureland Estates and they finalize a house over there. Next, we see the couple visits their old friends and say goodbye to everyone before they leave for the downsizing transformation. The very next day, they take the bus and go to the center for the medical procedure. There they are informed about the preliminaries and that the couple will be separated for the next 4-5 to five hours. So we see them hugging, and then both leave for the transformation. We see the Paul is taken into a facility where his head is shaved and all of his facial hairs are removed. After that, he is shifted to a different section of the facility where he is given a sedative and Paul's body is cleaned. Then all the participants are transferred into an enclosed facility where they are injected with a downsizing tonic and we see the doctor closing the door. He waits for a while and then all the individuals are converted into tiny human beings with sizes no bigger than 5 inches tall. Then Paul is shifted to a private room and he wakes to a phone call from his wife that she is leaving him because she doesn't want to become small. You're not leaving me here. Can't you understand how I feel? I feel terrible. He gets depressed by the news but is immediately taken on the tour of the city and the guy drops him at his house. And the scene shifts to one year after when Paul is signing the divorce papers of their marriage and Paul has joined a job at a call center. Then we see Paul having a nice dinner with another woman at his apartment. However, his dinner date is interrupted by the music noise coming from the apartment above his. He calls the owner to lower the volume, but the owner comes down and invites him to his house party. Paul turns down his invitation and asks him to lower the volume. After Paul and his new girlfriend are done with dinner, the couple gets into an argument and Paul goes and joins the party at Mr. Dusan's house. There he takes some pills and after dancing for a while he blacks out. The next morning he wakes up to the cleaners entering the house, but one of the cleaners catches his attention because she has a prosthetic leg. Paul goes to her while she is working in the bathroom and tells her that her prosthetic leg is broken and that she should get it repaired. She ignores him and leaves the washroom, but Paul interrupts her and tries to recognize her. He is finally able to remember that she is Nyak Lan Tran who was in prison in Vietnam. Nailed it. After Paul is able to convince her that he is a legit doctor, she asked him to come along and take a look at his roommate. He goes there and after checking on her, he says that she is going to die. And that very day, when he goes to visit her, she is dead. 
but then Paul asks Naklan if he will repair her prosthetic leg. However, when he tries to make the repair, he breaks it even more. Now he has to work in place of Nyak because she can't. The next morning, when he goes to work at Mr. Dusan's house, Dusan says that he will help Paul out because he got into trouble because of him. So Dusan calls Nyak and tells him that Dusan, Conrad, and Paul are going to visit another small community in Norway. While the three men are trying to convince Nyak to leave Paul alone, Nyak tells them that she also wants to come along. She convinces them by saying that a long time ago, she received a letter from Dr. Jorgen, so needs to come along. The three men are very surprised to find out that she was invited by the inventor of the medical procedure himself, so they take her along. On the way to Norway, all of them meet the doctor and his wife, but Dr. Jorgen tells them that the world is soon going to end, no matter what we do. They are late in downsizing the people because only 3% of the world's population has been transformed, so that's not going to help either. After the talk, Paul and Yak go to their room, where Paul gives her knee a massage. After that massage, both get into an intimate love scene. The next day, they reach the village where all of them are welcomed by the villagers of tiny humans. After seeing Dr. Jorgen and his wife Anne Helene, she comes running towards them and tells them that she loves them both. But Dr. Jorgen soon leaves her by saying that there is an urgent matter that needs attention. The same night in the village, Dr. Jorgen hosts a dinner and tells everyone about the past and the future of humanity. He tells them about what's coming next and what the future holds. There is a vault that has been built in the village where all the volunteers will go, and the vault will be closed from the outside. According to Dr. Jorgen, the vault is a way to another world, and appreciates the volunteers because they are doing a favor to humanity. Paul gets motivated by the speech, and he also wants to go down the tunnel and start a new world. We see Paul talking to Dusan and Yak about it, and they try to convince him that it's not worthwhile. The new world is going to be the same as before, and they will behave the same but this doesn't convince Paul to stay behind. The next morning, the villagers enjoy a drum circle and go about their activities. In the night, all of them enter the vaulted tunnel and Paul goes in. However, while he is inside, he sees the vault door closing behind him and runs back. He comes back. It was a love fuck. And then we see him and Nyak traveling back to Leisure Land. In the night, Nyak tells Paul along to his area and asks him to go inside and give food to an old man. Paul gives him food and goes behind and observes him from there. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.